At long last, welcome to the 16th and final episode of the build series on this hexagonal hot tub. I am finishing this tub by redoing the deck and installing the deck boards around the back of the tub. And that required me first to pull up a bunch of deck boards and move them over before scribe fitting all the boards up against the new stone. All right, I want to show you how I'm scribing. Scribe fitting all these boards. Uh, I would call this like a level one scribe because I'm using power tools and I'm doing a couple, only a couple stages. And there's gonna be very slight gaps, but this is a fast method and we can, uh, we can get the look we want at a three foot, three foot distance. So what I'm gonna do, I got my scribe tool here. Basically, it's a little copper pin with a pencil that's held with a clamp. I tried to use some of the store-bought scribe tools and they're the trash. Uh, they either have uh, protrusions that don't let you get in where you need to be, like something will be sticking out here and it'll hit this. Uh, also, they they move on you. And so I just put this thing up. Uh, so I'm going to find the deepest part and leave myself a little bit extra material. So this is about the deepest part. If I put it all here, that'll work, but then I'll, I'll lose some material. And when I was trying to fit these boards to hit the joists, I didn't want to lose it. So the deepest part will ensure that I that I don't go off the board. Now I'm gonna hold this vertical, and I'm gonna focus on keeping this parallel with the board, not so much with the pin. I'm just gonna let that do the work itself. So we just drag it. It's easier to drag in certain directions, like uphill. So I'll kind of come from both sides here. And then this little valley. Because of the thickness of the pin, you have a, this is not super accurate here. This is actually offset by half the thickness of the pin. So I'm just gonna draw in a little extra. And if we need to trim it, we'll trim that. The, that's the, I think of those as the verticals, whereas these are the horizontals. The verticals come out from the, the face where the horizontals go across it. Okay, now I got my scribe line, I'm gonna trim this excess. All right, I got my uh, I got my blade set to just a little under 45, it doesn't really matter. What we just wanna do is we want to back bevel this. So the scribe part is the only part that will touch the stone. If the stone sticks out underneath because of its variations, then the board is gonna hit that and this isn't gonna make a tight fit. So we're gonna do more beveling on the table saw, but this is just gonna remove the bulk of the material. Now I didn't, I just went to the deepest line there and I left my list up a little space. All right, so I just set this table saw blade at a depth where the angle of the blade, sort of the incidental angle, the tangential angle at this point is about what I have back beveled. Um, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this table saw on and use this, use this the side of the carbide to basically route out uh, the extra material and then I'm going to go in and finish it up. Why am I doing it like this versus a router? This I would think is actually safer, even though it seems horrifying, because the router, you, so the router, well, for one thing, you're going to have to relieve this material in steps, oh, as you can see that, because the router is going to be straight up and down. And I suppose you could use like a reverse chamfer bit where the, or like a dovetail bit where it splays out. Um, this also has a sort of a more detail. We can get a, uh, whatever, whatever this is, 332nd inch wide cut. Whereas the router bit, you know, that'd be a very small bit. And, and this is either mahogany or ipe or something. So scribing this can get uh, hairy with the router. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna eat away this material and then get myself to the line. Let's do it. All right, so there's the scribe board. You can see on the back, the table saw relieved it. So basically this is like a, like a perfectly zero, zero width edge. Um, and what that means is it's only gonna touch the, the wood there. So it's pretty close now, there's a, there's a couple gaps. 
But what's nice is if you give it a little whack with a hammer, it's gonna seat. That edge is gonna compress. You see like right here, that was a little high, but now it's like perfectly sealed up against the, uh, the stone. And uh, once that board is tied down in there, you know, that'll, that'll just be a perfect fit. It was a real joy working on this deck. All those scribe fit boards tied everything together and finished up this tub. I gotta say, it did not even feel like work at this point. You might say that I was just on vacation. I'm on vacation every single day cuz I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. Hey, hey, hey I'm on vacation every single day cuz I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day, every every single day. Every single day. Everybody sour like a lemon tree I'm just smiling down upon my enemies Do the shit and love it on a daily Say you hate your job but you'll never leave Never leave but that ain't gonna be me That ain't gonna be me My brother called me up said he saw me on TV I said it wasn't easy but right now I'm living breezy Build this engine from the ground up Now my hands they ain't so greasy Feel me? Hey, I'm on vacation every single day cuz I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day, every every single day. Every single day, every single day. Every single day, every every single day. My future bright, so thankful for everything Rejuvenating my inner light as I work hard for all I need Open arms, embracing life and all the which you gave me I work, it pays off, I'm happy now, it's paying me Close my eyes sometimes and feel as if I blow away I love the life I live and enjoy the ride along the way I make a living out of living, yeah that's what I say I got one life to live and I wouldn't live no other way I'm on vacation every single day cuz I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day, every every single day. Every single day, hey, every single day. Every single day, every every single day. Yeah, Van Gogh, my earlobe. I can't hear, I'm here though. I may be a weirdo, but this is my year, yo. My life may be crazy, my lack of the lazy has led me do shit that I love on the daily. Daily, daily, get to do the shit I love upon the daily. Daily, daily, everybody go and live your daily dreams. I just put the last screw in this deck. And I believe the hot tub is done. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm gonna do some cleanup. And uh, probably take a dip. So that was a fun project. <laughs> Hi, if you liked this video, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button. Please check the notes below the video for more ways to keep this channel going. Your support is greatly appreciated, and always, never stop building.